Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn about ambiguous grammar. A grammar G is said to be ambiguous if the language produced by grammar contains some string W that has two different parse tree. We have already seen how to derive parse tree. If for the same string, any string which belongs to grammar G, if we can draw two different parse tree for the string, then we can say that grammar is ambiguous. Consider the grammar S gives S plus S or S into S or A or B and uh, let we have a string W is equal to A plus A into A. This is the one of the pa possible parse tree S uh, derives S plus S then from first S we are replacing it by small a then second S we are replacing by S into S and both the small S we are replacing by small a. So this will give us the string A plus A star A when we read it in in order traversal. Similarly, the same stuff we can derive using this parse tree as well. So where first we are using the S gives S into S production and then first S we are replacing by S plus S and then all S we are replacing by small a. So see these two are the different parse tree but they derive the same string and hence given grammar is ambiguous. Ambiguous grammar uh, uh, is a problem. Uh, they are responsible for backtracking. So many times we are following one path that may not be a proper. So we need to do, we need to follow the another path. So that will uh, increase the time of parsing the string. Consider another example. Check if given grammar is ambiguous or not. Wherever grammar uh, is S gives S plus S or S into S or S within the parenthesis and A. And our string is in parenthesis A plus A into A. So we can have one possible parse tree like this, the another possible parse tree is like this and hence definitely the given grammar is ambiguous as we have a two different parse tree for the same string. Consider another scenario, derive string double A double B A double B A using leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation and we are given the grammar. In leftmost derivation, Whenever in sentential form we have multiple or more than one non-terminal symbol, we will always explore the leftmost symbol. Okay. So let us start with this. S derives small a capital B and LM indicates leftmost derivation. Now for capital B we have three possibilities. Let us replace this capital B with A, B, B. So as per our requirement, we have to derive double A, double B, A, double B, A string. So according to that we will be um, uh, replacing one by one production. Now see that in this particular sentential form we have two capital B's, two non-terminal but as we are following leftmost derivation we should always explore the leftmost non-terminal symbol first. So which is highlighted in red color. So in next step we will replace that capital B by small b. So we have double A small b capital B. At next level that capital B we are replacing by B and capital S. Then S we are replacing by AB then uh, that B we are replacing by BS and S we are replacing by BA and finally A we are replacing by small a. So we got the desired string. Let us see if its rightmost derivation is possible or not. So using rightmost derivation S gives AB we are starting with that RM indicates rightmost derivation and that B we are replacing by double B. Now see we have two non-terminal symbol present here but we will explore the rightmost symbol only. Right? And this will create different parse tree than the first one. So whenever we have a two different parse tree possible, we can have a leftmost rightmost derivation as well. So capital B we are replacing by BS. Again we have a two non-terminal symbol capital B capital S. But we will prefer the rightmost that is capital S which is highlighted in red color. So at next step we will explore S. So S we are replacing by BA. Again we have a two non-terminal we will prefer the rightmost that is capital A. So next level we will replace capital A by small a. Now we have only one so there is no ambiguity we can directly replace that by uh, B capital S and S we can replace by B A and finally that A we can replace by the small a. So this is also deriving the same string. So for same string we can have a leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation just like two different parse trees. Consider one more example, check whether given grammar is ambiguous or not for the string W is equal to IBTI, BTI, BTA, EA and capital S gives I, capital C, small t, capital S and so on. We have four productions. 
so this is actually if condition then statement and if condition then statement else statement so this is the grammar for if else condition right? and if we look at the carefully this is one of the possible parse tree for the given language or given a string and this is the another one so as we have multiple parse tree for the same string this grammar is ambiguous so how to remove this ambiguity because ambiguity is not a good sign for any grammar so as such there is no specific way to remove the ambiguity from the grammar but in string left side operator shall be given the higher precedence so that we can always have a proper um, uh, replacement of the variable and this can be achieved by rewriting the grammar so assume that our grammar is e gives e plus e or a or b now we have two e here so which e should be explored first so that creates the ambiguity so what we'll do is we will rewrite this so leftmost symbol should be given the priority so we will keep the leftmost capital e as it is in the production and rightmost e we are replacing by variable capital t so now e gives e plus e will become e gives e plus t so we have unique replacement for capital e now whenever we want to generate another symbol we should go for the t now okay. and uh, then we have to add the t gives e oblique b so this is non ambiguous grammar you see that now there is no ambiguity which e should be replaced because there is only one e so this ensures the higher precedence to left plus operator over the right one let us consider one more example that remove the ambiguity from the grammar s gives s plus s or s into s or e or b so as we learned that uh, as there was ambiguity in replacement of s we will keep the left s as it is and right s we are replacing by t fine so s plus s would become s plus t or t using t we will derive s into s but again there is a uh, ambiguity so the leftmost s in multiplication we will keep it as a t and right and s we are replacing by another variable that is f right and then we will add the production of f and using f we will derive a gives b so this is unambiguous or non ambiguous grammar for the given ambiguous grammar let us consider one more example remove ambiguity from the given grammar so it's now pretty straight forward uh, e plus e should be replaced by e plus t or t then we have to derive e into e using t so that would be t into f or f and using f we can derive the rest of the productions right there is no multiple same symbol in any other production so we can directly write down them actually f gives i and i gives a b but there is a unit production so we can skip the production of i and i can directly write f gives a or b another example e gives e plus e e minus e, e into e and n now plus and minus have a same priority right plus and minus have same priority they are just left associative so we will write it an ambiguous grammar as e gives e plus t or e minus t and t and using t we will write the production of e into e so again there are two e's we will write the first as a t second as a n right and using n we can derive the 0 to 9 symbols so this is how we can remove the ambiguity from the grammar if our language is ambiguous and if we generate another language out of that then that will also be the ambiguous right so suppose that l1 and l2 are the two languages which are ambiguous and if we are generating language l3 by taking the union of l1 and l2 then l3 is inherently ambiguous that is the property of ambiguity given the language if it is ambiguous and if we take the union or concatenation or closure of that language then that newly generated language is definitely ambiguous language thank you that's it for today folks see you in next video if you think this video was useful to you then please like comment and share don't forget to subscribe the channel code cracks Press the bell icon for the notification of latest videos. Stay connected, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.